Nana here. Uh, in this session, uh, we are going to have a look at uh, the approval process for uh, standard operations. Sometimes uh, when you create a standard operations in manufacturing, the company may like to like it to be getting approved by some uh, design engineer or the head of the department or whatever it is before you go ahead with the production. So we are going to see about how to configure the approvals for a standard operations in this session actually. So let me go there and then share my screen. So if you go there, go to the supply chain exhibition and go to the work definition over here. So I am now going to work definition. Fine, go that to connect. I will now go to what <coughs> <coughs> manage standard operations. <coughs> and go to the manage standard operations. I just now created one test one actually. So click on the test one. I made a, a wrong thing of a test one actually. And click on test one. So if you go there, it is already there. And then uh, you only, if you're going to make a modification, you only have to save and close actually. Okay, fine. But it will never go for approval. Now I'm going to configure the, make it to be approved by somebody. Then only what happens, it will be possible for you to use this actually. So I will now create a test two actually. Go there. So I'll now go there. Everyone done now. So let us now, first of all, enable the electronic signatures for this uh, standard operations. Close it and then go there. I will now go to the next one. And then here I will now configure the electronic signatures. So click on this now. And then you go to the setup and maintenance. Let me configure the electronic signatures for the standard operation. This is equivalent to a yeah, docu sign. If you don't have a license for docu sign, then you can even use this route to do it now. Fine. Apparently, a simple route. But if you have a docu sign, then that will be going in a very proper manner. <clears throat> it is the equivalent to it. Configure the electronic signatures. So configure electronic signatures for preferences. Now fine. Configure electronic signature preferences. The one and go that to it. And then I am working on 002 R now. Fine. Choose the R in whichever org you want to work. And then I will now go for man manufacturing standard operations management in line. Fine. Make a tick mark. So we can enable this electronic signatures for so many things. A lot update when you want to do it, it will now go for an approval. It's a serial update. Fine. Likewise, there are so many things on which we can very well configure the approval structure. <clears throat> so it is not done. Fine. So in manufacturing standard operations is now enabled. Fine. Give us save and close. Now, if you go and then have a look at it in your previous one, fine. If you click on the test one, so you will now see that there will not be any save and close. Now, fine. But it will be having a what? A submit for approval. Yes, submit for approval button is done. So now uh, what happens, uh, I'm now going to configure it. So previously what happens, it was only save and close actually. <clears throat> now it is now coming as what? Submit for approval. So let us go there first of all, I will now configure the approvers actually. Right? So I'm going to go to manage, uh, uh, what's it called, your approvers now. Manage approval groups. Manage approval groups, I go there. So manage approval groups will be created an approval group for this. So click on plus now, fine. <coughs> I will now say ESTD, fine, OPE. So go back and go back. Oh, I have to give a name, I'm sorry. <coughs> I'll revert back. So I should be give a name over here. I'm to come back. ESTD, fine, so, OPE. So, once when you give a name, <coughs> channel operation approver, when give a save, uh, that will be coming on the left hand side. Now I'll now add an employee. Now, right? I am now logged in as ACM 10 student. So let me have ACM 11 dot student as approver. Let me say ACM 11 dot. So it's now come Give a save. That's it. My approver group is ready. Standard operation approver. He is the guy. He may can even have a series of approvers also if you want. Otherwise, one approval is sufficient. Not it is not done. So go there. So I will now give a save again. Uh, and then it's all there. Standard operation approval in there. Now I will now configure my uh, task configuration for supply chain. Right. Manage task configuration for supply chain. Let me go there. So go to the manage task configuration for supply chain management. There I'm going to configure my standard operations. Standard, and then I will not give a go. 
So there are two things are there. So one is for the cost and then one for the operation. If I click on the standard operations operator. So let us know what happens you go there. So it must be on the edit mode. It is already on the edit mode. It doesn't matter. Uh, otherwise, you have to bring it to the edit mode. Fine. If the edit icon is coming here, now fine. You have to edit mode. I already, then, 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 because I just made it. I made a test of it. Now fine. I already edited it. So I will now go to the assignees on this one. So go there. Uh, I will now go to this place. Fine. So there are multiple things are there. And then uh, whatever has been configured, it will be coming with a blue one. I have already configured this. And then afterwards, I delete it. So it's not coming. Otherwise, what happens? It will be appearing like this one fine, without, without, without no information. So the first one I have chosen now, fine, is already configured. Fine, click on it. I already configured and then I deleted it actually, only for uh, demonstration purposes. Go there. So I click on it. Fine. So you have to choose one of them and then you have to configure it actually. In the assignees part. Fine. I already configured and deleted. So I go there because of it, it's now become blue now. I will now click on the business rule in the bottom. I click on the business rule. And then I have deleted the rule. I will now create the rule again. I click on plus. I'm not going to get the rule. So is the one. So click on this uh, uh, what's called triangular box to expand it now. I click on this triangular box. Expand it. So you can even configure an if condition actually. So normally what happens under this condition, we are not going to have any different fine. If one is equal to what happens is, is equal to one now. Fine. That means what it is always true. So you, you put one is one. So that means what it is always true. Fine. So we are not creating an if condition over here now. Fine. And then drop down, I will now choose it and go there. I will now add approval as an approval group. And click on the approval. Add an approval as an approval group. Drop it down. We'll be having one standard operation approval, which you have created now. The bottom. Standard operation approval. So I'm not choosing it. And that's it. And the rule is ready. And so the rule is ready. Go down. Uh, go there and then have a look at it. The rule is now ready. So give a save on this one and give a save. Click on OK. And then one more thing which you are not afraid to ask on the data save circuitry, you click on the validate rule also. In the top, what happens will be having go to the assignees again. And then here, if you go and then have a look at it. So go there. So this is the fourth one we had to configure now. And remember the fourth one you had to configure, not the first one actually. The fourth one you had to configure now. Go there, click on it. And then uh, uh, it's not coming like this. So there will be a validate button. Whenever you are writing any rule, no? fine. you have to have a validation button. Uh, you know, see. Where the, the validate is there at the top. And click on validate. So once when you validate it, it will not give you the results of the validation. Go down and see the results of the validation. So if you have written anything wrongly, it will not give you the results. So if you go down, if you can see in this place, you can see this. Button. So no errors found. No validation at this point. That's okay. And then I will now do one thing. If I go that, I will now go back one level of and go back to assignees. And then here on the advanced tab region, fine. You should not ignore the participant. Otherwise, it will not throw an error. Fine. Let me ignore it and then show it to you. I'm now ignoring it. It should not be done like this. Fine. It's a mistake actually. So if you are if this is enabled, you should disable it actually. So I'm now creating a mistake actually. And click on save. And then let me commit it. Click on okay, and then let me commit. You know, save successfully, and then click on commit. Now, the rule is now made with the mistake. Actually, fine, it is now committed. Fine, save and then commit. Now, let us go there and then have a look at it. So, go there, click on the <clears throat> So, it is not done like this in this place. Ah, uh, you know, right click and then duplicate. So, we have to come over here again. I go to the home icon, I go to the supply chain execution and go to the work definition. So here, uh, if you go and then see this one, find this place, what happens, you go to the manage standard operations. Now. So if you click on any of them, fine. Uh, it'll be a test one, it's going to configure it. Now it will ask for what? Uh, submit for approval. Now if I submit for approval, I make a modification over here and then I'm going to submit for approval. And click on submit for approval. It will not throw an error. It will not throw an error. Because ignore participant is enabled actually. Oh God, it's working actually. Fine. But sometimes what happens, it will be giving an error actually. Fine. So you should not have that ignore participant basically. Fine. So uh, rather, what I have not done is what I have not logged out and logged in. Fine. So whenever you make any change, what happens? It has to be logged out and logged in. So let me log on and log in and see why the changes to take effect. 
So I know you're making any change, any big change, you better log out and log in. This BPM also, I can close it. Let me sign in again as a CM10 now. So go there. I will now go to the supply chain execution. I'm going to go to the work definition. Go to this place. I'm going to go to the manage time operations. And here, I open up the test one. So when I submit for approval, it has to throw an error actually. If ignore participant is enabled actually. Still working, okay, fine, good. That's okay, fine. So remember that this will be a problem basically. So that is the reason that what happened there. Sometimes what happened, the ignore participant will be giving a problem. So let me create a test two now and then show it to you. We'll see whether any error comes up afterwards or not. I'm not sure about it. So click on plus now, fine. Let me create a new what uh, understand what operation. Test to do. Test to do. Test to So let me take a copy of the description. So work center is drop down. So we are having what ECM 11 as approver now. Fine. Let me go to the laptop assembly. And we're going to go to the tablet assembly. Tablet assembly, I will now make the count point as on. Fine. Let me add one of the resources. Let me add one of the resources. I will now add the technician level to. So test two is not done fine for that. So click on submit for approval. It will be going to the approval to yeah, two now. Yeah, SCM 11, it will not go for approval. So click on submit for approval. So it is now saying awaiting approval. Fine. Test two. Fine. So I already tested, uh, submitted twice. And so what happens? You'll be having three uh, informations now. Fine. Since I have submitted for approval thrice. So two times, uh, three years less than the one. The three approvals will be going to SCM 11. So let me log in as SCM 11 and the other browser. So SEM 11 dot. So let me log in. So you'll be getting three uh, messages now, point three uh, icons. What is this? What is this? SEM 11 dot. Okay, this screen itself has to be in the first actually. SEM 11 dot. Welcome. Go there. So you will now click on the what's called the icon or notification icons. So no notification has come. I think that ignore participant is not allowing you to bring it over here. I think that is why no notification has come. It is now ignoring the participant. I think yes, exactly. So no notifications. So let us now remove the ignore participant. I think now it's working. So ignore participant is working actually. So because of it is not coming. So uh, it is not going to. So let me go on the uh, what's called refresh. And it will be only on this place now. Right? So nothing would have happened on this now. So now to go further, <clears throat> go up and then click on back. So this is not gone gone at all. Test two has not gone. So I will not do one thing. I will not uh, remove the ignore participant. So that has worked. <clears throat> Check on it. I will not go again there. I'm going to set up a menu because I cannot use the other ones because I'm not logged out and logged in. And so I have to again go there and do it. I'm going to search. Manage um, task configuration. Manage task configuration support in management. Go there. It's a standard operation. Standard and then give a go on this. Don't give an enter now. Right? Give a go on this. So choose this and then now bring it to edit mode stuff, because I already committed it now. So bring it to edit mode. And then I go to the assignees now. So do the first one and the second one. So the first one we have modified it now. So keep your cursor on the first one. And then in the bottom, you go to the advanced. And then I will now remove the ignore parts. It should not be ignored actually. If you ignore it, then it will not go there at all. So give a save. Give explanation point to okay. And then give a commit. Click on okay. So it's okay. So we are now committed it. So let us now close it. 
and then here let us now log out and login again let us now log in sign out and sign in so click on confirm so ACM 10 dot student, I go there. I'm gonna do it. So I go to the again the supply chain execution and I go to the work definition and then let me create a new one. And the test two would not have got saved at all here. So if you go there, so you cannot even see this one. that comes up. You go to the manage standard operations, you cannot see the test two at all. Right? Test two will not be there because I have not even submitted it for this. And so the way test two is not coming. I click on plus one right? I will now go and then create a new one and test two. Let's say test to three this time. Test to three. So it's a test to three. So drop down. I will not choose what my tablet does only because the laptop assembly is not having any resources basically. So I'm not choosing this one. So click on first one. I will not choose the first resource. Then the technician level. I will not submit properly. So click on submit properly. So otherwise, what happens will be coming as a Save and close actually. Submit approval. So test three is now submitted for approval. This time it will now go to SCM 11 for approval actually. Awaiting approval. It doesn't show with whom it is printing actually. I'm not sure about it. I'm not seeing whether anything is there. Yeah, it's showing in the bottom here. Like that. So it's not showing. Probably uh, when I have done it, I shall seen whether it has gone to SCM 11 or not in this place. The bottom it's showing actually. Uh, I should have tested it, but I have not tested it. And, uh, so it has now gone to SCM 11. So probably this may be missing if you have the ignore participant on. I think it may be uh, it may be missing until I've not seen it actually. And make a check of it now. Now you will now go there, go to this place, and then it has, you have to get a notification bell icon. Click on it. get a notification bell icon. So it'll wait for some time now. Yeah, we got the we got the notification of and click on it. And then we got it. So previously it didn't gain no at that point. So because the ignore participant. So go there, click on it. In this place, he is now going to see the uh, uh, what's called the complete uh, thing on this one. So the electronic record, he is now having a look at it now. So this is what is. So he will now have a look at it. And then if he feels like he will now approve it actually. You know, there got two pages actually. So you will now go there. He may even, uh, what happens, uh, print it and then do it now. Right? He can even uh, download it. And then he can also uh, do a down. He can even print it on a printer. Otherwise, he can even download it. And then he can now examine it. And then afterwards, he's not going to take a decision. So I read the electronic record. And the record. <clears throat> so go there, click on approve. So once when you approve in a docu sign, the person has to give you a username and password. Here also, it has been made like this exactly. And click on approve. It has been made as a replica of a docu sign. That is again an external application. So you go there. I will now put scm 11 dot student. And then it's this password and the so click on OK and find by which it gets approved. So it has to now go away now. Find we already approved it. So if we click again on this now, find you know, yeah, no, nothing is there actually. So it is approved. Now if you go there, the test three would have got approved. So it's now awaiting approval. So click on refresh and click on refresh. If you refresh it, it will be saying approved. It is approved. State is approved. So we are now going to save and close this uh, one. Test three, we are going to save and close. So give us save and close now. So we drop down. We can even do one of the things. So go there. I will now give us save and close on this one. So click on save and close. The test three gets saved actually. So the test three has got saved. So after the approval, it has got saved. Go down. And then see the test three has got saved. Now let us now try to put it on a what's called a work definition on the on the work definition of another comment. So no more click on the one. <clears throat> you go there, click on it. So go to the manage work definitions and then I will now try to put this here, test three on one of the existing ones. Go there. So I will now query on this place now, right? With the version of one, let me search now, find There will be plenty of work definitions available. So the AS for I will say, you go there. Let us now create a new version and then do it now, right? On the same version, you cannot do it. If you click on this now, right? If you go to the main now, right? click on the main. If you want to add a resource, you cannot add it in the existing version. Question one, you cannot add it. Only on the successive versions, you can add uh, uh, additional standard operations. Go there. So click on this uh, wheel icon. It is not showing you item structure. Fine. Click on the wheel icon. It will now become operations. And then here, I will now query for the test now. Fine. Yes. And then let me query now. Fine. The standard operation will be available now. 
You can now see the standard operation. If I drag it and then drop it over here as an additional operation, 40th operation actually. So it will not allow you to do it. <clears throat> so if you want to add it, you cannot add it now. Just to three. You go there, I will not put it on space. It will not throw an error actually. Uh, what are the error messages coming? I'm not getting any error messages. You now see, minimize it and then see now. Test three. I want to add the 40th operation actually. Ah, it's not showing anything at all. So, but normally what happens, it will not throw an error that on the same version, uh, you cannot create anything at all. You cannot add a, any more operations basically. So, click on that. Let me create a new one now. I'm going to the version. I'm going to create a new one. So, click on this one. I'm going to go down. I will not click on the version and then let us not create it. Click on the manage versions. Let me create a version two. I already created a version two. I'm going to that. So, uh, let me go and then uh, create one more version. Let me create a version three. Version three is there. Right. So click on save and edit. So I'm now saving and editing it. And two, I have dropped it actually. I just made a check of it and then come back. The third version is now coming. Click on it. So go there, click on it. And go there. So I will now go on then and make a test and query for it now. So test three will be coming. So here I will now what happens? Basically add it and click on it. I will now add it to this. The 40th operation, I will to add it now. Search for it. <laughs> Actions assign. So maybe click on assign. Is okay, fine. Click on okay. So the 40th sequence of time. So it is not done now. And in the actions assigned, if you do it, what happens is not getting added now. 40th test three is there. If you click on it, that's got only one resource. And if you click on it, you can have a look at it. So it will be having only one resource. And later on, what happens? I'm going to add one more resource also. I'm going to modify this standard operations basically. So click on save and close the third version, version three. And then the version three, and click on save and close. The version three is now here. So if you go on and try to edit that version one by main, I click on it. Version one is there. So go there, click on it. And then I will now go on and try to what happens a query for this test. So click on search. Go there. So here I will now add an operation. So click on it. Uh, how did we add it actually? <clears throat> so click on it, test three. And here in the actions. So tablet assembly, the action itself is not coming here. The action is not coming because version one is already done much. So that is why it is not coming. There is no save and not coming. So if you click on it, uh, you will not get an action only for the version three only. Right? And the actions will be coming for assigning it as a 40th operation. So we'll now go and then see our 40th operation again. On it. So I'll now see version three and then click on search now. We having only one now, I think first. And if you go to the main now, click on the main. So you can now see the 40th operation. Now I will do one thing. I will now modify the standard operation with the one more resource. Okay, it has got only one resource now. Only one resource. Let me add one more resource to it and then see. That. So click on cancel. If it comes automatically or not, I'm not sure about it. I will not go there. I will not go to the managed channel operations. <clears throat> I will now open the test three. So let me add one more resource first. So there is a technician level two. I will not put the LCD panel assembly. So let me submit it properly. No, one more resource is added to the standard operation. I click on submit properly. We are submitting it properly. So the approval screen will be coming. And then uh, he will be getting the ESCM level will be getting a uh, yeah, notification. Fine. Change. I don't know whether it will not show as a change or not. Fine. The twentieth resource is not coming now. Fine. But uh, uh, whether is there a change or not, I'm not sure about it. Fine. Maybe if you make a print of it now, fine, you may be able to see the difference. The original one, what is that change one? All this you can see. I'm not sure about it. You can even download it, and then you can even print it and analyze it. Actually. So let us now go there. So you will be getting a notification here. SCM eleven login. You will not get a notification. It has been no fine. 
So we'll wait for some time. <clears throat> so once one is done, what happens? You'll be getting a notification. You got it now, right? You got it. You will not save. What? You will not simply mark it as what? I have not read it. I have read the electronic record, and then you are not going to update it. You will not put a tick mark on the record. Then you click on update. And again, it will be asking for uh, your username and password, like a doc sign. You see, a eleven dot student. So okay, no, okay, no, you know how to read it. So you know how to. So after some time, the notification will vanish. You know, go. Let us now go back and then see. No, okay. So let us now refresh it. So it is awaiting approval. <clears throat> Okay, fine. Go, it is now got approved. Now, fine. So let's see if I save and close. That is three. You know, saving it. So, if you go there and then have a look at it, fine. So, I click on it. So, I will not click on it. You have two such things. Fine. There are two resources there. Let us now go on and examine the version three whether it has got modified or not. Click on that. Click on that. Click on it. I will not go to the manage work definition of any. Definitely not here. You can do it. Will now go there. We will now verify. Go to the manage work definitions. So then we will now make a verification. Right? Version three now. Go to version three. We will click on search. We will now see whether it has got modified or not. Go there. Fortieth to one. We are going down. And then if we click on it, the second resource has to come. Fine. So resource two is coming. The technician two. Uh, how to see it? Uh, I have to see two resources actually. So, so click on the number two now. Fine. Resources two are there. So that means what it has got automatically modified it. So whenever you make a change of the this thing, and tick two is there, and then uh, there is one more resource as well. So minimize it and then see this one. So I will know how to look at it like this. So you can now see what the things are coming up automatically. So it gets updated on the work uh, on the work definition whenever you modify the standard operation. Otherwise, uh, you have to create one more version, and then uh, on that version you have to add it. Uh, you have to delete and add. So fortunately, it is coming up. So when you make a change of the uh, this thing, it is not reflecting on this on the work definition. Itself. So this completes an approval process for the standard operations. And then uh, whenever you make a change, it will also again go for approval and wait. So let us now go on and disable it actually, because now if you go there and then if you go to the manage channel operations, and then whenever anybody is working upon what happens, it will again go for approval and find something approval. So once when you complete this exercise, you disable it actually. Uh, I will now right click and then duplicate, <clears throat> and then you go there. So you now go to this place. You go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> Let me disable it. Go to the search. I will go to manage configure electronic signatures. Configure electronic signatures. So click on it. I will not disable it for my R. My zero zero to R. My it is not done. So we can test it for so many things on this. Or less construction production exceptions put away. All the inspection does it. For so many things. It is almost equivalent to DocuSign, and then uh, this can be effectively utilized if this is uh, sufficient. If the end client still wants only a thing, then you have to get a license for DocuSign. Seven plus. Now, if you go there and then click on the work definition, now it will not be submitted properly. I go to the management operations, and then open up any of the uh, standard operations. You go there. Now it will be coming as what? Save and close. It will be coming as what? Save and close. And that's it for me as far as the standard operation approvals is concerned. Of it. So uh, you can use this uh, electronic signatures for so many things actually. And then uh, one more thing which I want to tell you now, uh, I am now uh, selling my records actually. If you go to that point, I'm now selling my records. If you go to my website, oraclenana.com slash INVPO. Right? It is oraclenana.com slash INVPO is my website actually. Here I'm selling my records. I go there. 
So this training has started and then it took almost three months for me to complete actually. So the course is now completed. And the course is now completed. And then what you can do is you can buy any of the records. I'm now selling my inventory record, procurement record. Procurement is covering all the six pillars actually. And then the order management, fine. all these things are conducted only in this year after June or July. I think. And then uh, there, are, there are the prices actually. And then if you are outside India and then if you cannot, this is again a payment gateway only. But in case if you are uh, not having a two-factor authorization on your credit or debit card, it will not accept it job. So what you have to do is uh, you can even pay via PayPal. PayPal means what? It is like the expense actually because PayPal charges are huge now. The PayPal charges are also included in this figure actually. The PayPal charges are also included. So inventory will cost you 45 USD, this 60 USD, but only a marginal money. Fine, it's not a big money actually. And then I'm selling my 20 module records also. If you click on this link, it will not tell you what all the things which are contained in the body. I click on it now. Click on the link. I'll show you. This is the 20 modules which are covered. 12 or mine actually. You'll be getting both the records and docs for this one. And then afterwards, if you go down, you know, these are the eight for which I have only records actually. Like Fusion Project Portfolio Management is there, Planning Center. They're all not mine actually. And then Fusion SC, Fusion Technical, Fusion Financials, ADF Records, Oracle Integration Cloud. Fine. There are so many things that are available. Even project accounting, everything is all there. <clears throat> so as I mentioned, my students give me, I will be adding it to my kitty actually. And, all that. and then I will now associate to you to my Telegram group uh, uh, past participants. So you will be uh, basically uh, able to interact. You have a, what's called a payment readings button in this place. Fine, click on it. If you're finding it difficult to make a payment by anybody, you can even register on any of the banks basically. On the payment details, you can even register on them. What happens when you make a payment? And then uh, those who are outside India, if uh, you're not even having a PayPal, so what you can do is you can go via, via next fast remit, or there is remitry.com or instarem.com. So they'll be asking my details, and then you can even put it, and then you can even try to interact with me for any, any clarifications. And then I'm one of the best trainers in the world, actually, fine. That will teach you a lot of basics. And the basics are fully taught, actually. So in this place, the inventory procurement and order management agenda are over here now, fine. So it is the inventory and procurement agenda is available. And then the order management agenda, if you click on it, it will now show you the inventory and procurement combined agenda actually. Fine, the combined agenda. Because I took a training for a combined module, right? but I'm selling it separately. And then if you click on the fusion order management, it will now give you the order management agenda. So make a check of it. And then if you have any expectations, first of all, see whether everything is not fulfilled or not. Otherwise, yeah, again, discuss with me before you go ahead of the purchase. Actually. If you don't have an expectation, this is a really an excellent one. They will know at a, such a small price, it's not a big money. It will not teach you the complete basics on an, on an advanced level also. So that way, it will be up very good. You can even contact me or otherwise, my details are available here. You can even write to me or otherwise, you can call me and then I talk to you. Also. Bye for now. And then we'll now meet on some other sessions. Bye for now. <clears throat>